Last but not least, our final inductee of the evening is Dr. Nan Yao Su, a distinguished professor of entomology at the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences in Gainesville, Florida. He's also considered to be the father of termite baiting as we know it today. Let's take a look back now at how Nan Yao got his start and where he is today. In 1951, a future entomologist was born in Taipei, Taiwan. At the age of 11, Dr. Nan Yao Su relocated with his family to Osaka, Japan. His hobbies in his youth included music and billiards, but his main passion was science. At the Kyoto Institute of Technology in Japan, he earned his bachelor's and master's degrees in sericultural science, the study of silkworm farming. For his doctorate in biology, he relocated to the University of Hawaii. It was there that he learned about termites and found his calling. Dr. Su's doctoral thesis was on the use of termite bait stations to kill termite colonies. His timing on this revolutionary concept could not have been better. It was 1983, and the United States Environmental Protection Agency limited the very popular use of chlordane to only termite work. Five years later, it banned the compound completely, leaving a huge hole in the termite control market. In the meantime, Dr. Su received research funding through the United States Department of Agriculture's Forest Service. Soon after that, the late termite researcher Dr. Jeff Lafage came to Hawaii to offer Dr. Su a postdoctorate position at Louisiana State University. After a short time there, Dr. Su returned to Hawaii but the cost of living was getting too high. As fate would have it, Formosan termites were discovered in Hallandale, Florida, north of Miami. The University of Florida did not have any termite experts on staff at the time, but decided it needed one. Dr. Sue was a perfect fit. Dr. Sue was assigned the task of finding a way to control Formosan termites. It led him to revisit his doctoral thesis on bait stations. In 1990, he began writing to pesticide manufacturers, requesting materials he could use in his bait formulation tests. Corteva Agriscience, which was known at the time as Dow Elanco, sent him the active ingredient hexaflumeron. In his preliminary testing, Dr. Sue noticed a molting inhibitor effect with the active ingredient. That led to testing around a building on the University of Florida campus, and the termites were eliminated. Encouraged by the test results and subsequent replications of his results, Dr. Su knew he needed to develop a device for delivering the bait to the termites. He used a PVC pipe with a wooden stake inside. Once the termites began feeding on the stake, he replaced it with the termiticide. That was the beginning of the Centricon Termite Colony Elimination System, which hit the professional pest management market in 1995. It was also a fulfillment of Dr. Sue's dreams about a whole new approach to termite control. He has conducted successful field trials with Centricon at the Statue of Liberty's Liberty Island in 1996, at Fort Christians Vern in St. Croix in 2000, and he even served as Chief Technical Director for the Chinese Environmental Protection Agency during the World Bank Termite Project in the early 2000s. Dr. Su has been an inspiration to countless students and research assistants over his teaching career as well. But he's just plain dad to Justin, Mandy, Nabil, and fur baby Kaya, and an easygoing husband to his wife, Nadia. He also enjoys hunting and fishing, but continues to focus on his termite research today. Thank you, and uh, being the last uh, inductee, meaning that by the time I come up here, I already washed down about a bottle of wine, so it's going to be a very interesting speech. So uh, I was told I was inductee this year of Hall of Fame, so my first image of Hall of Fame is that there's a hallway somewhere, <laughs> and all the inductees will be frozen in a frame like Han Solo in the Star Wars. <laughs> and hang on the wall. We are not doing that, right? Okay. 
So and I was also told it's a black tie event. So my image is that uh, by the time I come up here, I should receive an Oscar somewhere in my hand. <laughs> I guess we're not doing that either. <laughs> so, uh, but I will keep my speech short, not like an Oscar Academy Awards, thanking everybody. So uh, uh, when I did the uh, termite research, subterranean termite, it's really a difficult subject or insect to study because you don't see them. Unlike a butterfly in the air, grasshopper, cornworm, it's all on the ground, you can see them. Subterranean termite live in the soil, you can even see them. So it's rather difficult subject and very few people did any research on those things. And in 1973, there are two interesting paper appears, simultaneously but independently, to monitor subterranean termite using TROP. And one of the study was done in Hawaii by Dr. Tamashiro et al. And Tamashiro was my major professor. Another study was published in Arizona by Jeff Lafarge, Lafarge et al., 1973. And he was my mentor during my postdoc in LSU. So I was very blessed by two pioneers before me that lead to the invention of centrical system. But you can see everything we do as a science, we took from somebody before us. None of the innovation come out of nowhere. We always copy and improve from what we learned from people before me, us. So I totally expect my students to do the same thing, and they will do, look at my method and improve upon from there and do something else out of it. So, but I'm rather eccentric and unpredictable person, and, uh, but I was very blessed besides these two, my mentor, uh, that I have a breast with many of my colleagues. Tonight, I have my longtime friend, Dr. Vernon Luis from California, and his lovely wife, Lisa, here. They are my, my best friend, and they have been with me on my up and down. Everything I do, they are always stick with me. And we also have Dr. Faith Oi and his uh, husband. I always say to everybody that Faith is my first successful PhD student. You don't know how many before or after failure. <laughs> but anyway, I, I really i am grateful that I'm very blessed with a lot of good colleagues that supported me. But with people like me, I cannot do things like this. I do uh, without family support. And I'm also very lucky over the years my family is supported by what I, what I do. I, I sometimes don't even come home until midnight. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not at home on the weekend. I'm always in my lab. And they put up with me, and uh, I'm very, very grateful for them. Um, a few years ago, I suffered from a tremendous private personal tragedy, which pretty much put me into the deep hole of depression. And I'm not sure if any of you suffer from depression. It was a very foggy, dark experience. I did not even know if I could ever get out of it. Then I met my wife, Nadia, who is here tonight. And she was very patient with me. She put up with a lot of my idiosyncrasy. And then she dragged me out of that. And I have to be grateful for her for what I can stand here today in front of you. So I would like to share this with you. So this honor, Nadia, I share this with you. Thank you. <laughs>